Okay, in this lesson, we're going to have the enemies shooting at us to add a bit of a challenge. Um, and because it's the enemies, it has to be automated versus us where we hit the space bar. So the enemies, I'm going to set it up so they randomly shoot at us. Um, so to do that, we're going to be using something called a step event. And we're going to be using the randomization or um, test chance uh, object as well. So I will show you how that works. So we are going to, now I added a sprite bullet and object bullet for the enemy bullets. So for our enemy, this is where that step event comes in. Now a step event is essentially an infinite loop and it is going to continually, every step in the game, it's going to carry out this action. So in other words, there are, remember, approximately 30 steps per second. So in theory, 30 times per second, it's going to do this. So if I were to have it shoot as a step event, it would shoot this rapid fire because it would just continually shoot. So rather than that, I'm going to, under the built-in questions under control, these are conditional statements, I'm going to test a chance. Now, right now it's set up as a two-sided die. Think of it like if I, or flip a coin in this case, heads I shoot, tails I don't. That means basically there's about a one in two, there's a one in two chance. So every um, 30 seconds he would probably shoot 15, I'm sorry, every second he would shoot 15 bullets, which would be quite a lot. So we're going to change this to something like 50, meaning that there's a one in 50 chance that each step that he'll shoot at us. And we'll see if that seems good or not. So this is the conditional statement. Now, if it is true, like let's say the, the magic number is a seven, he keeps rolling a die. When he gets a seven on this 50-sided die, he's going to shoot. And to shoot, he's going to create a moving instance of that bullet. Uh, it's going to be, again, relative to the enemy. So we'll just say eight, eight again, um, just so it doesn't come out of the top left corner of the enemy and it looks like it's coming out of the kind of the center or the hand. Um, and it's going to be a speed of, let's say, six for the enemy, and the direction is still going to be that idea of the built-in direction, uh, I'm sorry, the built-in variable direction, because the horizontal guard is moving either left or right, so it would make sense that he shoots in that direction, okay? So I'll play this real quick just to see what happens and to see how the pace seems. And here we go. Now you can see the horizontal enemy is still shooting at us at a pretty decent pace. You could change that if you want. You could leave it. Um, right now the bullets go through the wall and they go through me, so we'll fix that. So we're going to make it that um, for, the, uh, for the bullet, okay, when the bullet collides with Bilbo, we're going to have Bilbo go back under, sorry, under move, go back to start, okay? And now, this is a little confusing because I'm used to sometimes just uh, assuming I'm talking about self, but in this case, it's Bilbo, which is other, that we want to jump to start, okay? When the bullet hits me, I also probably don't want it to go through me and keep going, so I would likely, um, under main one, destroy the instance, and this time it is of self or the bullet, okay? So I'm going to have Bilbo jump to start and destroy the bullet, and the game then continues. Now, I don't have lives in the game yet, so this will account for that. I should also, um, in other words, it'll account for having you at least have to start back at the beginning. So I should also do a collision event with the wall, because if a bullet hits the wall, I should probably at least destroy the bullet. Okay, so now we should have a functioning situation with the enemy shooting at us and us actually having a consequence and it adding some, some challenge. So let's see, uh-oh, I'm running away. He hit me and I go back to start, same thing, okay? And of course if I hit him, I get him. So that's a start. Now if you notice the vertical ones are not shooting yet, of course you can do that on your own at this point. So uh, get to it. 